Module 3, Session 2. Session 2 will cover Learning Outcome 3.2.2 Circle Theorems, Part 3. Learning Outcome 3.2.2 State and apply the theorems of circles. So far, we have covered both the general circle theorems and the cyclic quadrilateral theorems. Now we are going to have a look at the tangent theorems. There are five tangent theorems, including the converses. Theorem 7 and its converse. Theorem 8. Theorem 9 and its converse. Let's take a look at each one. Theorem 7 states that if a radius is drawn to the point of contact with a tangent, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent. So, in this diagram, we have radius OC drawn to the point of contact C with tangent AB. So we can say that angle ACO equals angle BCO, which equals 90 degrees. The abbreviation to use for this theorem is tangent perpendicular to radius. The converse of theorem 7 states that if a line is drawn perpendicular to the radius at the point where the radius meets the circle, the line is a tangent to the circle. In our diagram, radius OC is perpendicular to line AB at the point C. Therefore, line AB is a tangent to the circle. The abbreviation to use for this theorem is line perpendicular to radius. Theorem 8 states that if two tangents are drawn from the same point outside a circle, the tangents are equal in length. So in this diagram, P is the point outside the circle and AP is equal to BP. The abbreviation to use for this theorem is tan from a point. Theorem 9 states that the angle between a tangent to a circle and a chord drawn from the point of contact is equal to an angle in the alternate segment, the opposite angle. So, in this diagram, we have tangent ST and chords RP and QP. We can conclude that angle QPT equals angle QRP and angle RPS equals angle RQP. The abbreviation to use for this theorem is tan chord. The converse of theorem 9 is, if the angle formed between a line that is drawn through the endpoint of a chord and the chord is equal to the angle subtended by the chord in the alternate segment, the line is a tangent to the circle. In this diagram, we have been given that angle QPT equals angle QRP and angle RPS equals angle RQP. Therefore, we can conclude that SPT is a tangent to the circle. The abbreviation to use in reasons is angle between line and chord equals angle in alternate segment. You are now going to do another group activity. Part 1. First work through this problem which uses a combination of tangent theorems. If AD is a diameter of the circle, Angle BAC equals 62 degrees and line segment EA equals 35 millimeters. Calculate the required angles. Part 2. Once you've completed the question, share some of the tips and tricks you've discovered in class to help your students with geometry. Let's watch a video of the solution. Let's consider the following example here. And let's analyze the information. I think at this stage you people know what my focus is. I don't look at the question. I first analyze the information and thereafter I look at the question. If AD is a diameter of the circle, I'm going to stop right there. What does that mean? If AD is the diameter, it means that angle C will be 90 degrees. Because that is the angle that is subtended by that diameter. That's the first thing. 
But now we see something new which we haven't seen before. Here we have a tangent. The second rule is the diameter is perpendicular to the tangent. In other words, that angle will also be 90 degrees. In other words, that statement means angle DCA is 90 degrees as well as angle DAE is also 90 degrees. Now we read further. BAC is 62. Let's fill BAC. BAC, that is 62 degrees. Immediately, this is your tangent, that is your court. So in other words, the tan court theorem states that if this is 62, then can you see that court subtends angle D? In other words, it means that angle D is also equal to 62. Immediately, this two should add up to 90 because now you will agree with me that 62 plus that small angle there are complementary because all three of them must add up to 180 degrees. That means this angle here will be equal to 68, 70, 80, 90. That angle there will be equal to 28 degrees. Now I read even further. You can see this is my common point, and then there's the tangent, and then there's a tangent, and two tangents from a common point are equal. And then I see EA is equal to 35 millimeters. It means that EF will also be equal to 35 millimeters. Now let's look at our questions. That is the analysis from the information that they have provided me. Let's look at number one. Number one is they want us to find the value of DAE. DAE, we've already calculated it as 90 degrees. So you can now straight away say DAE is equal to 90 degrees. What was our reason? Diameter. Can you people see there? We're not taking a chance. They stated clearly it's diameter. So we're going to just say diameter. And then we're going to use the symbol is perpendicular. You can clearly see there's the word tangent to tangent. We've answered number one. Let's look at number two. Number two, they want ACD. ACD. Lovely. You can see there ACD is also equal to 90. You see, it's important to know the diameter stuff. You can either say angle subtended by the diameter or the famous one that we've used all along, angle in semicircle. If you look at number three, they want ADC. ADC, we've already indicated that's also 62. ADC is equal to 62 degrees. Why? We call it the tan court theorem. Can you see the tangent court opposite? So in short, we call it the tan, but I will say tangent. And then I'm going to specify the tangent, AB, slash court. And I'm going to specify the court, AC, theorem. And then number four, we've already calculated the length of EF. EF is equal to 35 millimeter. And what is the reason there? It's very important to take note. Tangents from a common point.
and to make life even easier we can even illustrate which common point common point e to summarize the tangent theorems theorem 7 states that the tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of contact theorem 8 states that two tangents to a circle from the same point are equal in length Theorem 9 states that the angle between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. The converse of Theorem 9 states that if the angle between a line drawn through the endpoint of a chord and that chord is equal to an angle subtended by the chord in the alternate segment, then the line is a tangent to the circle. It is very important to remember that we are numbering the theorems this way for this support package to make things easier to explain. Students should never use theorem numbers as reasons when doing problems. Different lecturers and textbooks will number theorems differently. Students must know the proper reason that belongs to each theorem.